Social media addiction is at an all-time high and it is killing people and draining soul. The crazy thing about social media addiction, just like every other addiction out there, is the people who are experiencing it actually know that they are addicted, but they can't just help it. And it's so sad. Hey guys, it's Tammy here again. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we'll be talking about social media addiction and how it is ruining your productivity. It has killed a lot of people's productivity. So we'll be talking about how you can actually get out of it and improve your productivity and focus as a whole. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share the video if you find it insightful. And of course you can comment and let's get right into it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So let's get right into it. Some days ago I was driving back home from the gym and just by the intersection from my home there was this lady pressing her phone she was on snapchat i think she didn't even know that a car was coming she was so engrossed in a chat or whatever she was doing on social media and i was so so disgusted and furious and that's why i decided to make this video i was there honking at her and the host of other people were also there and she didn't even even notice until someone actually did tap her and then she's like oh like uh, sorry and then over the years I've like aired a lot of stories of how even like a car hit someone and someone died and just lots of casualty and miserable stories happening to people because of social media addiction. It's so sad and sad. And this is also the case with a lot of people today, including myself, right? We are glued so much to our devices and we barely can go away and spend time alone with ourselves for just a few minutes today and that's why you'll see that a group of friends choose to hang out like they tell themselves oh let's go out and hang out and then they get to the hangout and they find themselves pressing their phones they're freaking addicted to their devices which is powered of course most of them are stuck on their social media accounts scrolling through instagram scrolling through tiktok down on twitter and everyone is just out there stuck to this because of how much dopamine it gives and it's ruining a lot of people in 2018 when i started doing online marketing as well i got addicted to social media and it was really bad i was doing marketing online i needed to be online on my phone i post on instagram do this do that right manage accounts and then i became addicted to social media it got to a point where i would be sleeping and then i find myself actually replying to customers chats and then I wake up in the morning and check my phone like, oh, when did I actually reply to this chat? It was that bad. And this began to spiral down to every other part of my life. I could barely read for up to 30 minutes anymore at a stretch. I could barely hold conversations for long anymore. And it was so, 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 so terrible. And it went on and on and on like that. I really couldn't help it because to be honest, I was making money pressing the phone, right? So maybe that mind was even like bearable, but for people who are not even doing anything reasonable with the phone, they keep doing it and doing it and doing it and they know they need help, right? And that's why I've decided to talk about this crazy thing that, that we're going through today. So after going through all of my addiction and years of battling social media addiction and like my phone as a whole, my productivity crumbled totally. So I sat down, talked to myself and I was like, oh, how can I actually get back to where I was in terms of focus and improve my productivity as a whole again? So the first thing I did was to start what I call a detoxification process, right? So I was trying to detoxicate my system with my phone, right? So the first thing I did was I stopped plugging in my phone beside my bed when I was going to sleep at night. Because one of the most terrible habits you would have found out in yourself if you're addicted to social media and just like myself, is once you wake up in the morning, the first thing you grab before you even lift your hands, you don't even know if you're paralyzed. You just pick up your phone and you just start pressing, right? I needed to find a way to stop that. And the best way was, okay, put my phone away from my bed and replace my phone with a book. So that way, once I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do after I say my little prayers is actually pick up a book and read and not press on my phone. Because the more you press your phone and give yourself that screen time, the more your focus gets messed up. And over time, you can barely concentrate on anything for long anymore. Once you can concentrate and focus for long, it affects every other part of your life and you can barely grow as a person. So after i did the social media the talk and i started like paying attention to that another thing i started doing was i started withdrawing myself from my addiction so what i do now is like 
I still do right now. So once I'm going to maybe work or to study or to do something, I leave my phone back home and basically would go do some deep work. I can leave my phone for five hours, six hours. I'm going to the gym. I leave my phone at home. So that way, like the main problem that causes the addiction is not there anymore. So I can focus on what I'm doing and I can come back home to pick my phone. So that way I just like, oh, okay, it's going to take me five hours. So I do it. It's going to take me one hour. So I do it. I still come back home to press my phone, right? Just like every other person. We have to catch up with social media. But what I've now come to realize over the last few weeks or even months and down to years now since I stopped getting addicted to social media is that you actually don't miss out on anything. It's just a few trends here and there and trends come every day. So if you think you're gonna catch up with everything, it's almost impossible. You're not going to miss out. Leave your phone for a few hours, come back to it and you can simply catch up with anything that you think was important that you needed to catch up with. So another thing that was very crucial for me because you know I talked about how my phone and social media in itself was a crucial part of my income base, right? I decided to hire a virtual assistant so I could outsource all of the parts that needed me to actively be on social media. So I had a social media manager and a host of other people that were helping me with these things. So I could automate maybe posting a video on YouTube. I could automate or schedule a tweet. I could automate posting on Instagram and a host of other things like that. So that way I don't have to be on all of those platforms. And I found that I might not even go on Instagram for one week or two weeks, except someone says, oh, hey, Tommy, I sent you a video on Twitter. Did you check? I'm like, oh, I didn't even know. I sent you a video on Instagram. Oh, have you checked? Like, oh, I've not even logged into Instagram for a while. You just start like getting withdrawn once you you remove all of the excuses. And to be honest, if you can withdraw successfully, you'd be able to improve your focus massively. And once you can improve your focus massively, your productivity will skyrocket to the highest level. And one thing I've, I tell a lot of people is this. If you want to change your life, maybe you have a good life. Maybe you don't have a good life, but you think you want to move from where you currently are to where you want to be. All you just need is about three to four months of deep work. So when I say deep work, it's basically going all in on what you're trying to do. So no distractions at all, 100% focus. Focus on that thing for about eight to 10 hours a day and do it consecutively for three to four months. And I can guarantee you that you're going to experience tremendous success. But today, a lot of people can experience this success because they can't even focus. They are stuck and addicted to social media their productivity is ruined. And that's why you need to get off this addiction. And the only way to that, you gotta detoxify your system from this addiction. And how do you do that? Simply separate yourself from your addiction. Stop plugging your phone by the bed. Stop taking your phone to places where you have to do important work. Leave your phone in the room and maybe do your work in the work room. Basically separate yourself from seeing that distraction. Because the truth is, just like every other addiction, right? as much as you think you're trying to get over it, if it's still right in front of you, you most likely go back to, go back to it. So let's say you smoke cigarettes and you're trying to quit. And then you're like, oh, I'm not smoking anymore. And then you walk into your kitchen and you see a box of cigarettes. You most likely find yourself smoking, right? So that's the way it works. If you want to get off this addiction, you need to stay far away from it. You want to throw the cigarette box out of the house. You want to replace your smartphone with a phone that is not smart, if it's possible for you, if you can do that, right? So that's like the best way to go about it. I know it's important to be up to date in today's world. And we really can't do without social media because that's where we build the network, the connections, and even all of the jobs today. We even start to like find them on social media today, right? So we have to catch up. But as we're catching up, we want to ensure we're not getting our focus ruined. So we're not just playing a game that we're never going to win against addiction, right? So if you enjoyed this video and you think this would be helpful and you want to try this out or you've tried it out and it worked for you, don't forget to like this video. And you, if you know anyone struggling or battling with social media addiction, don't forget to share this video with them. Comment the part that you find most insightful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.